the Myriad token price continues to go lower and lower and lower. And it's difficult to see when this is going to stop. Welcome back to BMN Crypto, where we talk all things crypto. So I've covered Myria a, full, a few times, and since then, obviously, the price has just continued declining. You can see here, um, I got in around about this point, 0.08 uh, cent mark, and since then, obviously, the price has absolutely been demolished, down from an all-time high of... Um, by about 87% and that is since April um, of this year and the price just continues to absolutely tank um, and it's difficult to see when, when this is actually ever going to stop. The way the price is now it's actually below um, the IDO price um, so the IDO price was at 0 0.002 you can see here we're uh, down 39% um, from that IDO price. Um, so it's, it is, as a, as a holder, it's painful to uh, watch. Um, and I know they always say when things are going down, it's always a great time to, to buy. Um, but it's always difficult to buy in times like these when all there is is just sell pressure. And... I guess part of that sell pressure is coming from um, node owners who are getting daily distribution um, of uh, Myria tokens. And fair play to them, they have to sell to recover their initial costs. So we could see a lot of this selling pressure for a while. Um, and I've always thought that if they could introduce some sort of staking mechanism, um, that would potentially ease part of... Um, that selling pressure that is yet to be introduced. I haven't seen anything on staking as yet um, But obviously we have to wait and see um, What's on the horizon for Myria? So in terms of Myria itself, obviously they've got over 250 potential games in development um, so um, I guess the anticipation really is for those games to come online um, so today they're actually um, tweeted there's a tweet that they basically sent out um, just teasing people um, so you can see here uh, game studios be prepared we have something exciting in store um, not sure what that is um, I, I can't even speculate um, just reading some of the comments potentially people are thinking um, could be some sort of wizard to um, help game developers uh, not sure what that would look like um, but whatever they're going to be introducing, I hope it can start to drive uh, the price or stabilize the price somewhat. Um, they've also got a campaign that they're running um, on Galaxy. Um, it's a pretty easy campaign, uh, which you can potentially win $3,000 worth of Myria. Um, maybe if, if you hold any tokens, that might ease the, ease the burden a little bit. Um, it's quite simple. There's a series of... Um, steps you need to follow to qualify uh, potentially for this draw and you can see here um, there's definitely interest in Myria you can see here there's in terms of participants there's um, over 16,000 people that have entered this competition so the interest in Myria is definitely there um, I was in the discord earlier and there's definitely engagement um, from the community um, there's always people um, interacting and asking questions. Um, so I think once this does get going, it's got a big community out there. Um, so the big question around the price, uh, where is this headed? So you can see here um, just on trading view on the daily time frame, you can just see the downward trajectory Myria has been in all this time. Um, it did initially start to break out and it did break out um, from uh, this low here um, around about point 1.5, call it 1 point, point 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0015. Um, so it did break out for a bit, went as high as 0, 0, 0, 0.0023 and obviously since then it's just basically been coming down. So basically, basically formed a... Um, 
a lower high and since then obviously the the buying pressure uh, the selling pressure has recommenced and this was probably round about the same time that we saw um, potentially was this potentially the round about the ETF news and obviously everything was breaking out so maybe that's potentially what drove that uh, price up uh, temporarily and then obviously normal service has resumed you can see we're going back down again um, and it is painful to watch and if we just have a look at the uh, latest breakdown and just have a look where this price could be headed so um, based on on this trend line here um, this is where I'm seeing the price will potentially I think we're definitely going to hit um, under that uh, 0.01 cent mark um, so this is going to get cheaper could be a great opportunity again to reaccumulate some more and then reassess uh, where this goes um, that's what I'm doing just uh, continually watching the price um, still holding the same bags that I have been um, but if we do see prices come down this far down, I might, uh, I'll probably buy some more again, um, try to bring my uh, average cost down a bit more. Um, but this is painful, um, but it could be worthwhile in the long run. Um, but that's really all I wanted to share with you on, uh, on this video. Um, hope you enjoy that content and I'll see you in my next video.